So I promised you guys a new apartment tour a few months ago. We're gonna go ahead and start in the kitchen because it's probably the most boring room and where I spend the least, least amount of my time. First off, the kitchen is awesome because of two blades of chaos. These are the official replicas of the blades and they're really freaking heavy. This is like real chain, it's real metal. See, so these are really, really badass. I'd love to cosplay with them, but yeah, they're just too heavy for me. So that would have to be waiting for a photo shoot. Then, I think I put that on there, right? Then, it looks like a magnet store threw up all over my, my fridge. But that's not the cool part. The cool part is this giant R2-D2. Then I've got the Bioshock Infinite Skyhook, which is probably one of my new favorite toys, because it does that. Also got a Manu Shiwan from Fifth Element, and Luke on a Tauntaun. I need more room to put stuff, so this is where the, the sky hook goes for now. And now let's gonna go ahead and head over to my workstation, which is here. Um, I've got a razor blade PC, and this is where I do all my PC gaming. Then I've got a cute little Mac, which is where I do basically the rest of my interneting and like photo and video, video editing. I made this desk all by myself with help from Ikea and the bookcases. DVD collection. I have more DVDs than I have room, so that's why there's some of them are stuffed over there in the corner. They are alphabetized as well. Don't have room for my 360 games, so they are right here in front of the coat closet. Um, I live in LA, so I don't have to get my coat out very often, so 360 games. Yoshi's super cute food bowl. Um, just stuff. Not really sure how to explain it. I have a Fem Stormtrooper that a friend of mine, Brian, made for me. You'll see some other paper craft work that he's done in my other part of the collection. Got Songbird from the Songbird Bioshock Infinite Edition, if you guys saw the unboxing of that. Cute little Star Wars plushies, they talk. No. Oh, do not. That's adorable. <laughs> I've got the Ezio gauntlet thing. More Stormtrooper stuff. More Star Wars stuff, more game collection, Blu-ray, PlayStation 2, more PlayStation 2, PSP, PS1, some guidebooks. I don't know why I keep them, but I just do. Um, GameCube, DS, 3DS, Wii, PS3, PS Vita, Wii U, and uh, that's pretty much all I have room for with my game collection goes. Tons of artwork. There's the Blades of Chaos I made for the Kratos cosplay I did. Last of Us, 3D Gears of War 3, some Lori B artwork. She's one of my favorite artists. You'll see bigger stuff of her prints right up there. And of course, freaking Bioshock, which is one of my all-time favorite games. So that's centerpiece. Now I'm gonna show you some, basically my living room. But this is more of like my, well this is my horror cabinet. I've got alien stuff, predators, plants versus zombie, ghostbusters, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that's where all that stuff goes. This little creeper is another thing that Brian made for me. Paper craft artwork. And this really doesn't have a theme. This is more, I guess, like, yeah, maybe this is like action first person shooter theme. Gears of War, more gears thrown in with some Max Payne, Duke Nukem. I think this is a press item from uh, Dead Rising. Not a big Harry Potter fan, but I went to the Harry Potter area of Universal in Florida. Loved it. Had to get a wand, so I asked for the baddest guy's wand. So it looks like I got, well, I don't know who the bad guy is. I don't know, that's Snape or something, I guess. Then I've got Resident Evil stuff. I guess she's not really Resident Evil, but she's a zombie, so she can be part of it. Evil Dead stuff. Those T-Virus vials, they do light up, and they look really cool when they're lit up at night. And then I just have more horror stuff down here. Look, I didn't even clean the glass for you guys. With some Jason, Saul, Michael Myers, more paper crap. This is the, all the really cool stuff. Right across from that, oh first in my kitchen, awesome Star Wars lamp, Terminator with mini ears, is the Star Wars cabinets. 
A lot of the old classic Star Wars toys in here. More Star Wars, more Star Wars, more Star Wars. And then a bunch of the old retro Star Wars action figures as well. Some of them are still boxed. I like to keep some of my favorite thing boxed. More Star Wars stuff to AT-AT's mama and her little baby. This one I would take down and show you guys, but it makes sounds, it moves, you can open up the side and it's got little buttons you can push that make sound. These things light up, they go pew pew and it's just really, really cool. I have a baby doll sucker punch action figure back here. I really want to take out, take her out because she looks really, really cool, but she's got so many pieces. Where would I put the rest of the pieces? Indiana Jones, um, Death's Mask from Darksiders 2. And my prized possession, the best thing in my whole collection, is the Uncharted 2 Perva Dagger replica. This thing's amazing. It's still tied down because, again, I'm in L.A. and earthquakes. Don't want anything happen to this baby. So it's tied down. No one's allowed to touch it other than me. Sometimes I will untie it and show it to people, but they're not allowed to hold it because, God forbid, someone breaks it. I will chop their balls off with the Perva Dagger. Then I skipped over a lot of the Bioshock stuff. Just... This was a press item. I don't think it actually has anything in it. It's just a box, but it looks badass because it looks like the box you pick up in the game for bullets. More Bioshock stuff with some Overlord things thrown in. Jet Set Radio Future. Star Trek. This is Bioshock Infinite. And Assassin's Creed. Then down here, even more Bioshock stuff. I've got the, the Eve Hypo, which is really cool. It lights up and it glows blue. Um... Tomb Raider, these are Dragon Age coasters, Grand Theft Auto things, gambling things. And then down here, this is, I guess, I don't really think I've, this has a theme, but it's <laughs> got some Sonic, got two Cami figures. This front one was sent to me by a friend, and then the Play Arts one was a gift. Next to it is Nintendo. Lots of Nintendo stuff, a lot of those are press items. A lot of them are things that I got when I used to work at GameStop. Then here I've got Portal Companion Cube made from, again, Brian, my friend who does paper crafts. Tron Cologne, Thor Cologne, Captain America Cologne, Manhunt Beating Stick, whatever that is. That was a press item. Um, just some other random things. Then in this one I've got a lot of God of War. And you see Dante's Inferno. He has to go in there with Kratos because his game was... Basically a rip off of God of War, but still really good. Claptrap, a psycho mask. Above it is just more Ode to Nathan Drake. Got his necklace, small perma dagger I used for my cosplay, play arts figure, the figure that came with the Uncharted 3 Collector's Edition, and just Uncharted. And then Above my couch, if you remember, I used to have the Star Wars hallway. Don't have a hallway that now. So, you get Star Wars living room with lightsabers that light up and make lightsaber sounds. Posters and awesome stuff. Then if you spin around, you'll see my current setup. I do have two Xbox 360s. That's because sometimes, rarely, I like to be actually social <laughs> with real life people. So it helps having two. Also have my Wii, Wii U, PS2, PS3, Yoshi, and then if you know anything about me, I am a huge Disney fan. Disney World, Disneyland, my favorite ride is Haunted Mansion, so this is my living room centerpiece. So next let me show you the computer room area. Like I said, I don't have a hallway. Oh, and gaming stuff. That's where I keep all my controllers. Right here, I have Assassin's Creed 3 piece of artwork, number 30 of 200, and Assassin's Creed replica tomahawk. Then in here is my basically workroom. There's the battle station. But here I've got all my random books. Like I've got the Walking Dead novels, Walking Dead, 
uh, Watchmen, Hyrule Historian, World War Z, zombie stuff, all sorts of goodies, and Thor's Hammer. Then down here I have a whole lot of video game art books, comic books, um, guides. Again, I don't know why I have game guides. I don't use them. This one's still wrapped, but it's still cool to have because it's pretty. Then, what is this? Oh, Bioshock Infinite art book. Some PC games, ones that I actually still have the box for. Mostly are Sim stuff and Civilization stuff. Then down here is tabletop games and board games and just non-video games of the game kind. Then above all of this, I've got more Lori B artwork. Han and Carbonite, Star Speeder from the old Star Tours ride, Star Wars stuff. Yeah, this is where I do all of my cosplay work. I do all of my sewing and I spend many, many hours here. I've got God of War 3D art, Penny Arcade, Uncharted 3 artwork, sorted pins and buttons and things. And I've got adventure artwork. Right here is where I do all of my print signing. You know, I sign or I sell prints on my website. And this is where I sign them, I kiss them, I wrap them up. Mario plushies. Some say I have too many. I don't think so. My favorite is probably this pink Luma in the back. She is one of a kind from Super Mario Galaxies. And she was made for me by Sean from Seanimals. You know, he had that DS game called Ninja Town, I believe it was called. And it had the little wee ninjas and stuff. So he makes plushies and he made me that one for my birthday. It's definitely my favorite. And then up at the very top, if you can see, is Disney plushies. There will be more of those in a little bit. And that is my workroom. So I don't have much more on this side of the house, but I got some more artwork to show you guys. Indiana Jones, Fifth Element. This is a boring old laundry room. Guest bathroom, which I can't really show you with the light on because it's got a really loud, annoying fan. Um, but if you peek around, you'll see I have a little garden Jawa. Um, PB Winter Bottoms. Yeah, that's the name of that game. PB Winter Bottoms artwork. And of course, Assassin's Creed for Black Flag. And one of my favorite pieces in my whole house is this Johan Vasquez Bioshock artwork piece. Uh, I won this in a raffle and it's just one of my favorite pieces. I absolutely adore it. Now that I showed you the workroom, my living room, uh, my computer room, the kitchen, it's time for the bedroom. Got my portal shelf it's where I keep, I'm a girl so I like purses. I keep all my purses here in nice organized bins. This is backpacks. This is like themed purses. Pac-Man plushies, they do move. They're adorable. More Disney plushies. Star Wars plushies! And there's little Mighty Mugs back there too. I just don't have any more room. And Indiana Jones meets Sonic. Not really sure why Indiana Jones and Sonic are partnered together, but they are. But the coolest, coolest room in this whole house is the freaking closet. Look, shoes, clothes. Big closet, hooray. All right guys, that is it for my apartment tour. I still have things that need to go up, things that need to be unboxed, artwork that still needs to be framed, but it's basically, I'd say about 95% done, and I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. As always, thanks for watching.